My name is AJ Eckstein and I interview recruiters for a living. I'm the founder and host of the Final Round Podcast, and I literally interview recruiters on our show to help you advance past the Final Round interview and land your dream job. We've interviewed recruiters from companies such as Boston Consulting Group, Goldman Sachs, LinkedIn, Google, and more. And one of the biggest things they talk about is how people don't network effectively. So that's what we're gonna talk about today. If you're like most people, you've heard of the term networking, but no one really knows what to do or what it actually means. But today, we're not just gonna talk about networking overall, we're gonna talk about how to lead the conversation and how to do outreach. Before we talk about how to lead a conversation and what to say in a networking call or chat, you first have to do effective outreach. You wanna tailor your message and that will show the other person that you actually put in time to craft that message and then it's a tailored message. Ask yourself, would you respond to this person? Did they say, hey, AJ, or is it just, hey, comma? Did they say what they're looking for and how it's tailored to that person? Did you say that you're looking for a job at my company? Did you say that we went to the same school, we have the same hobbies? Because if it's just a template, why would I be inclined to help you? We're all busy. When you're doing that outreach, try to find a point of similarity, whether it's a hobby, a school you both went to, maybe even where you're from, maybe you're both from LA or New York or Austin, Texas, and use that in your outreach and try to be more personable. If you're not, you're just a sales outreach message. And even though you should tailor your outreach message, it's still a numbers game. So don't focus on one or two people, have a ton of people that you're reaching out to, but again, don't reach out to so many people to where it is just a template and really say what you're looking for. Are you looking for time on their calendar? Are you looking to meet up in person? Are you looking for a job referral? Specify the role ID, specify the company, the title. Be specific. Don't just say, hey, how are you? Then it's too much back and forth. Say, hey, how's it going? And get detailed to what you want and what you're looking for and those points of similarity. And whether you're outreaching to a professional, a recruiter, a hiring manager, a CEO, a founder, it doesn't matter. You want to be memorable. And the best way to be memorable is through your detailed research. Do research on the person. Find out more what they're doing on LinkedIn. Look at their LinkedIn profile. Look at their activity section on their profile. Are they posting content? Try to engage with their posts. Be a warmer connection. So when you do that outreach, you're not a cold connection that has no mutual followers. Start building that lead a little bit more and more to the point where when you reach out, they recognize your name. And once you send that tailored outreach message and this other person says yes, you want to lead that conversation. Send a calendar invite. Send a Calendly link with your schedule. Don't go back and forth for two weeks trying to find the best time. Sometimes it's going to be inconvenient and it's going to be a different time zone, but do what's best for the other person if you're asking for their time. And once you finally start that conversation, you need to lead the conversation. Start early on, ask the person how much time they have. It's really helpful to come prepared with a meeting agenda, but you need to lead the conversation and show that you did research and prep to get to this call. Because if not, it looks like you're not prepared. Think about what questions other people in your position are asking, and then ask questions so far away from that. It could be a super interesting idea or question around the industry. That is how to be memorable. And the last piece of this is when you finish the call, make sure to send a thank you follow-up message, either email or LinkedIn message, and tell the person you appreciated their time and talk about what you said and a little piece at the end that makes them smile or say, hey, I would love to chat with this person in the future again. You can watch every video and online course about networking, but at the end of the day, to be a better and more effective networker, you have to go get reps and put it into practice. Go put yourself out there, go to that networking event, go to that company recruiting event, network on LinkedIn, send outreach messages. I promise you, it's like an investment. It pays dividends longer term. These are all seeds that you're planting. And I wanna ask you and leave you with one thought or analogy. How much do you want your garden to grow? That garden's gonna be helpful in the future, but these are all seeds you're planting. So plant seeds today, make an investment today, and I promise you if you're always networking, it will pay dividends tomorrow.